The Spirit GTR unit comes from the Czech Republic in a box covered in uh, bubble wrap. This is what the box looks like after removing the bubble wrap. And I think it has all the information there to include the serial number and, you know, of course, it says uh, Spirit GTR. The contents inside the box include the unit and three accessories, which are the um, uh, 3M very high bonding uh, tape, the uh, USB uh, plug-in, and there is a, a, a binding uh, plug. This is just a regular bind plug. And this is what the, what the unit uh, looks like. Now, I do not know which 3M very high bond tape this is, but uh, it is, um, uh, I don't know, like a maybe black grayish uh, color, uh, you know, foamy. And the, uh, let's see, the thickness, it's about uh, so the 1.29 millimeters accounts for the two peeling layers. So it is about 1.0 millimeters thick when you peel the layers out. This GTR unit has 10 pins, but uh, the SIS is pretty much only used for either the USB connector or one of the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth uh, link uh, connectors uh, to um, uh, program uh, the unit. And the uh, EXT RPM E2 port uh, is used for uh, other connections that do not involve uh, connecting power. Uh, so the power rail is really from uh, CH0 to uh, E1. And so basically you're only left with the eight uh, pins that, that you can use for, uh, for the power rail. Now CH1 to CH3 are the three cyclic servos. CH4 is the tail servo. And throttle, well, that's a uh, that comes from the ESC, so that basically leaves a CH zero auxiliary and E one for other purposes. Generally, E one is used for uh, telemetry, although you can use one of the um, uh, I guess a Spectrum satellite ports for telemetry, uh, but uh, generally that's where E E one you know comes in, and. Uh, you can uh, connect the other uh, power uh, ports, say from the ESC to either auxiliary or, uh, or to CH0. Or, or you can also connect one of these um, uh, buffer units to one of those uh, empty ports. Uh, again, CH0, auxiliary, or E1, you know, depending on your particular setup. It is very important <laughs> to uh, note to not connect uh, power to either SYS or the last port EXT RPME2. If you connect the power to one of these guys uh, in either extreme, uh, you, you will burn the unit. So do not do it. Before you bind the Spirit GTR unit to the radio, you have to create a new model on the Jetty radio. So let's do that. So here I'm just going to press a uh, menu under model. Yes, I'm going to select new model. Here for name, I'm going to bind this to a Tron uh, 7 helicopter. So that's exactly what I'm going to write down here. So Tron, I'm going to do a little space. Let's go to 7.0, all right? Or you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to press OK. For heli uh, or for model type, guess what? We're going to use heli. Yay. That was hard. So again, uh, this button here. Uh, this you can change any time you want. I'm just gonna leave it alone for now. Uh, for heli, uh, the default is not gonna work. So the options here are spirit and I don't know what else, but believe me, you're gonna use spirit. So spirit it is. Uh, governor, just leave that alone. So I'm gonna press next. Uh, all of these, you know, one, two, uh, six, they're, they're fine. Uh, for me, I am going to, um, uh, for this gyrosense, everything is fine, but uh, for my, uh, personally, I, I'm just going to uh, make the gyrosense so it's uh, so it's uh, backwards um, uh, or reverse of what it is here. So press OK, just so that up is up, middle, down. I'm going to create two more uh, functions. 
the next function will be banks you're going to need banks uh, for this uh, uh, spirit uh, unit uh, how do you spell banks here we go that looks about right okay and I need to assign this whoops uh, my bad uh, I need to assign the banks to a switch so we're gonna use the same switch as gyro sense all right and um, there we go and you know what this is backwards so I'm gonna put reverse press OK so now you can see that when I change the switch both of these uh, functions S SB will be down middle up I'm gonna create yet another function it's gonna be rescue all right So I think I spelled that right. Press OK. Uh, for the switch, I'm going to use this guy here. So I put a little switch there. So um, press, I'm going to click on the switch. And you know what? It's reverse of what I want. I want it so when I press, it is positive. So I'm going to put reverse. I'm going to press OK. So now when I press on the switch, you'll see this uh, SC uh, go up. Press. Yep. So I think it looks pretty good. And now, on the servo assignments, I think that that looks uh, great. So I'm just going to uh, actually, uh, yep, actually that looks great. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Create model. Yeah, hell yeah. And we'll go over this servo setup next when we uh, uh, get into the uh, uh, spirit servo setup. Now for binding the Spirit uh, GTR to the Jetty Radio, this is very similar to most other uh, units in the market. So uh, you, after you create the model on the radio, just turn the radio off, all right? And that's it. Now here, connect the uh, bind plug to the SYS uh, port, all right? So bind plug here. Now you can connect power to any other, the other ports except the EXT RPM E2, all right? So here, I'm just gonna connect the power to, um, I'm actually gonna use this extension to, uh, I don't know, CH4, uh, uh, I guess, you know, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna leave it alone up here. I'm going to connect power to the, um, to the unit, all right? We're just using an uh, a S2 uh, a battery, okay, two cell battery. Here we go. Now the unit, you know, it's gonna be um, flashing. Now here, I'm just gonna turn on the radio, all right? Start the transmitter, yes. And guess what? Now I'll register whatever, you know, receiver, say yes. And that's it. It's bound, all right, see? That's all it takes. Now at this point, I just, you know, turn off power to the, um, to the GTR. And turn this guy off. Yep. For the segment, I will go over the Spirit Setup Wizard using the computer software instead of the Jetty firmware. Uh, the Setup Wizard can be conducted through the Jetty firmware, but it's much easier to do it through the computer. So let's start by turning on the uh, Jetty radio to the... Um, I guess a model that we had uh, set up. So I'm going to say yes here. Uh, then I will connect the uh, USB uh, uh, cable, the, the Spirit USB cable to the uh, computer. In my case, I need the, the USB C adapter. I will connect the, um, the other end of the adapter to the SYS um, port. Now I'm going to connect the power to the uh, spirit unit. And I'm actually gonna use a, an, an extension uh, cable, just just makes it a little easier for me. I'm just gonna use a random uh, port, all right? And I'm using a 2S uh, LiPo, you know, for that. So um, when I turn on the uh, power, 
I'm going to uh, wait for this uh, blue light to, uh, to be steady. Now that the blue light is steady, I am going to uh, access the uh, Spirit uh, app on my computer. All right. I'm going to say yes. Uh, next. And I don't know the uh, whether it's going to be horizontal or, or, or what. So I'm just going to leave that alone for now. The CCPM, I'm going to leave it alone for now. And because this is a, a helicopter, that uh, the Tron 7, that is not on the uh, spirit list, I'm just going to leave it as a default. I'm going to go on to next. For step three, I know that I'm going to be using cyclic servos that are uh, 1520 and a frequency of uh, uh, 333. So that's what I'm going to use, this, uh, 333. And for the rotor, I'm going to use a 760 uh, expert servo, and the frequency is going to be a uh, uh, 560. So that's what I'm going to use. And um, I'm going to go on to next. Here I'm going to uh, connect. So connect it is. Now it's uh, connected. All right, so we can see that up here. So I'm going to do next. And here's the part where I'm going to um, make sure that all the, uh, the channels throttle all the way to bank are uh, calibrated. So here I am going to go into a servo uh, layout. And sometimes this throttle up here in channel one is not assigned. So if it is not assigned, just make sure it's assigned to channel one. And then banks, I'm going to assign that to channel uh, seven. All right, and that should work. And for the function here, I'm going to go into one of the uh, rescue options. I like rescue acro myself. So that's what I'm going to choose. And I'm going to assign that to channel eight. All right. And I still have other channels that I can, other functions that I can assign to channels, but we, we will leave it alone uh, for now. So now I am going to close this screen uh, by pressing the red button up here. And I'm, I'm using a Mac computer, but Windows should be very similar. I think that the, the button should be on the uh, right side. And I'll have all my uh, channels up here. So um, I'm going to test. So uh, looking at the, the throttle, so I'm, I'm at the low stick. I go to up stick. And see how it goes from a uh, hundred to uh, negative zero, and then on the pitch, uh, which is the third channel, it goes to negative one hundred. So hundred throttle negative one negative zero negative one hundred. And here I'm gonna look at the other channel, see how elevator, which is channel four hundred negative one hundred, like that looks good. On the rudder, which is channel two, um, I believe uh, I'll go from negative 100 to 100. Now I'll go to banks. Uh, this is a switch that I use for banks. Now you see it on channel seven, uh, bank one, bank two. But the gyros is interesting. So it goes to um, uh, channel, uh, I guess I'm sorry, so one, two, three, uh, six. So gyro, which is six, it goes from 43 to zero to negative 44. So we're gonna have to fix that. And let's see, aileron or, or elevator 100 to negative 100, that's good. Aileron 100% to negative 100%, that looks good. Now we're gonna set up our flight modes. And as you can see, I'm not connected to the uh, Spirit GTR unit at this point. You, you, don't, you can set up the flight modes without it. So we're gonna go to menu. We're gonna to go to heli tuning. Uh, we're gonna to go to flight modes. And here, uh, it'll say create flight modes. Sure, why not? Yes, okay. Um, the only thing is that I'm, uh, instead of idle three, two, and one, I'm actually gonna um, uh, change this to uh, bank two, all right? I changed the names to bank two, bank one, and bank zero. 
I'm also going to change a, a default here uh, from um, uh, default to a uh, setup mode. Now that I have my five banks, auto rotation, bank two, bank one, bank zero, and setup mode, I'm going to assign switches to them. Uh, this is my preferred switch for uh, auto rotation. Uh, this is also known as a uh, throttle hold on the spectrum uh, transmitters. Uh, so here I'm just going to do the switch. And now um, I believe it's, um, it's engaged. So basically anytime I come down, it'll uh, give a check mark, which means it engaged that auto rotation uh, um, flight mode. For bank two, bank one, and bank zero, I'm going to use the same three-way switch that I use for my uh, banks and also for the uh, tail gyro uh, gain. Um, so let's say go to bank. Um, oops, let's press escape. Go to bank two. Um, the switch is going to go up. Press OK. Escape. Come down from bank one switch middle position and now bank zero for my case I will press here down okay so now it'll be bank two middle is bank one and down is bank zero that's the way I do it there there is no switch assignment for setup mode I will show why that is later. An important concept to understand when using these uh, flight modes in a jetty radio is that there is a priority setting. Uh, auto rotation is the number one a priority followed by bank two, three, four, and setup mode. So in this case you see that there's a check mark on both auto rotation and bank zero. I can actually move the banks and the check mark will, ch will change to bank one bank two but as long as auto rotation is checked it takes priority over anything else down here so even though there's two checks here in auto rotation and bank two because auto rotation is a higher priority being the the first priority it always supersedes the the banks that's very very important to know the the higher up the list the higher the priority whenever there is a, a let's call it the discrepancy now we're going to assign function curves to the flight modes that we have just set up now that we set up the flight modes uh, the main flight modes which will be auto rotation uh, bank two bank one and bank zero and assign uh, switches uh, to each of those uh, flight modes we're going to uh, set up the uh, function curves which are the uh, throttle and pitch curves so let's we're gonna escape out of this so to go backwards so we'll go to our function uh, curves up here main thing here is that the throttle and pitch I would uh, make sure that the um, that this part is on S meaning separate as opposed to G for global so um, you can leave roll elevator pitch everything else uh, 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 global if you want uh, but uh, uh, it will make it a lot easier uh, to, uh, especially for throttle, uh, to change this to a separate. So that just means that you can have separate curves for each and every single flight mode. And of course, for pitch, also an S. So we're really going to go into throttle curves first. We're also, we will do pitch curves uh, later. But for throttle curves, I plan to use the uh, governor. So I really want a constant... Uh, horizontal uh, curves and by the way I do want S that means separate as opposed to global because I want uh, the pitch curves and uh, throttle curves to be uh, separate for each and every single flight mode so I'm, gonna, I'm going to use constant curve because that is what's a uh, horizontal now here I have it set up for my uh, throttle hold or in this case is a uh, auto rotation uh, so I want it to be uh, 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 straight and I will uh, use a 20%. I'm using a YGE uh, ESC and 20% is uh, basically what they what they ask for. Now for uh, the banks, okay, so I'm going to switch out of throttle hold or auto rotation. 
And now uh, for uh, uh, this is bank two, bank, bank one, one, bank, bank zero. zero. Bank two. So start with bank two. I'm actually going to backtrack. So standard, I don't, I don't want this diagonal thing. I actually want uh, something that is constant. All right. Um, so I press on constant. Uh, and here um, I'm going to make this uh, my high curve. So let's do. Let's start with eighty percent. That's a that's a good number to start with. Uh, for bank two, bank uh, or bank one, I'm sorry, the middle position. Uh, again, I'll, I'll go into constant. Press, kill, click, and let's do uh, seventy percent. This is the, the the bottom number is the one that's changing. Let's do uh, eh, maybe seventy four percent. All right, that's good. And for the bank zero. Bank zero. Again, I'm gonna come make it uh, constant. And here, let's do maybe like sixty five. Yeah, let's do sixty five. Why not? Uh, th this you will change later, uh, uh, depending on the head speed that you want. All right. Now, um, so now we're gonna go into the pitch curves. And do we want to send the uh, set them independently? I'm gonna say yes. Um, so independent it is. And now, so for all my, I I, I like the diagonals from zero to one hundred. Sleep uh, uh, for uh, our three D uh, helicopter flying. Uh, this standard curve of uh, zero to one hundred, completely diagonal. That that's really what you want. And so this is bank two, bank, bank one, one, bank, bank zero. zero. And auto rotation is the very same curve. So uh, I would say leave it where it is. Here I want to show you that uh, flip, uh, fifth flight mode that I created. So let's go uh, back out of that menu. We're going to go into flight modes and see how I created the setup mode. This is uh, something that I, uh, I think it helps me uh, for setting up the helicopter. Uh, there's no switch to get to the setup mode. So what I need to do is actually unassign the switch, say for bank zero. So I am just going to uh, unassign it. So anytime I uh, uh, flip out of the, um, uh, uh, turn the switch to what otherwise would be bank zero, it'll actually uh, default to setup mode because this is the, the default uh, flight mode. Uh, see right now there's there are no check marks here. Bank see now one. here there's a check mark, so bank one, bank, bank two, bank but here on the on the low switch, there uh, there's no check mark, so it actually went directly into the uh, setup mode. And I'll show you what I do with this. I use the setup mode to um, uh, calibrate the uh, the uh, flyberless controller, and I'll, I'll show you um, what it is that I do with this. So we're gonna uh, get out of here for um, throttle curves. I'm actually gonna create, uh, this five point curve actually works fine, which is a, a zero, 50, 50, 50, 100. I, I'm actually gonna create a, a, a even better uh, curve, which is gonna be a seven point curve. Uh, so with a seven point curve, uh, point one, leave it at zero. Point two, I'm actually gonna uh, bring it down to uh, also uh, to zero percent as well. Uh, point three, uh, I'm going to bring it up to the uh, middle, all right, and here there's three points that are uh, that are 50, so 1, 2, 3, and then 51, so I'm going to put it right in the middle there, uh, this is 0 0.5, 0 0.6, I'm going to bring this down to um, 50, and this one I'm actually going to bring it up to 100, all right, and so what this does is that as I move the stick, see this this little area? Um, the, the bottom part of the stick, it's always going to reach zero. Then it jumps to uh, 50, all right? And then then this gives me a range to do 100. So the, the sticks, again, uh, they don't have to be exactly at, at the extreme of low or the extreme of high or exactly in the middle. It'll always read, um, uh, as long as it's so somewhere down the bottom, it'll read 0%. Uh, somewhere in the center, it'll read 50%, and somewhere up high, uh, the, the high stick, even if it is off by a little bit, it'll still be 100%. And I will do the same for the um, uh, pitch curve.
Okay, so it, it I had it set up as a as a five point, but again, I'm gonna do a seven point uh, here, and um, it should be pretty easy. So, so it goes to instead of zero, fifty, one hundred, it's negative one hundred. Uh, be zero. Zero and one. Whoops, went a little too high. Hundred percent there, and and now we are uh, done with um, with these uh, uh, curves. We still need to calibrate the gyro channel uh, with the um, with the spirit unit. So what I will do is I, I'm going to create. Um, so we have a, a this is a this is already assigned to this uh, a three way switch. So this uh, a low stick. I'm gonna make this into negative 100. Uh, whoopsie, see, and that's uh, that's as slow as it goes. Negative 100. The middle position, it's already at zero, but basically this is where I want it at zero, and the high position at 100. And the reason why I want to do this is to calibrate the uh, when I calibrate the fiberless unit, this will be the center position. It'll be zero, and then the high will be at 100 and the low will be uh, negative 100 and, I, and i'll show you how to do that uh, uh, later and, and of course i uh, uh, here i'm give, leaving this as a as a global i don't want this as a uh, a separate uh, global works fine here at this point we're going to calibrate the core seven channels channel one will be throttle broader pitch elevator aileron gyro and banks uh, and bank will be channel number seven so here on the radio uh, we're going to go into um, uh, uh, yep heli tuning nope uh, we're actually going to go into models there we go and here it will be a servo setup all right that's exactly where we want to be and by the way i i have the the Spirit GTR unit connected uh, I'm powered using the 2S uh, LiPo it's connected to the computer of course and I already started the uh, the Spirit program here so as you can see here uh, which is interesting at the uh, looking at the computer uh, the throttle channel is 19 percent and right now I'm, I'm on the uh, a throttle hold or uh, auto rotation which uh, we had set up at 20 percent late earlier but it's only reading 19 percent so you know it's not calibrated another funny thing here is on the when you look at the gyro is reading negative 87 uh positive uh, a zero and then positive 87 and we had set it at uh, earlier at the hundred percent zero and negative 100 percent and it's not reading those numbers uh, correctly uh so it just means that it needs a little calibration no big deal uh, here we will show you how to do it so let's look at the channel uh on and the uh thing here is we need to be in that uh, setup mode uh, see right now i'm under auto rotation right but i actually want to be on setup mode, setup mode. so i i am on setup mode so here at, at low stick, it should be reading uh, uh, the lowest value, which would be a zero percent. But now right here is reading negative zero, right? So this is not correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the radio. I'm going to go on the lower channel. Uh, oops, on the lower uh, channel where it says uh, max uh, negative, right here, and I'm actually going to turn this uh, at say negative 99 I see negative 99 gave me zero percent on the throttle here on the computer so that's a number I want uh, at uh, mid stick it's a uh, reading a uh, 50 percent in the computer so that means that my sub trim of zero percent is fine and at high stick it's reading a hundred percent and guess what? I have max uh, positive here on the radio at uh, 100%. So that means that the channel now is calibrated. The only change that we needed to make here is uh, changing that uh, max negative to negative 99. So the next channel will be uh, roll. Well, let's see. Let's turn the stick and look at the, the computer here. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I guess a roll would be uh, a aileron. All right. So let's see. So 100%, all right? And 
if you turn it to the left, it'll be negative 100%. So we're good. And at center is zero. So that one we leave alone. So the next uh, would be elevator, which is actually, even though it's, a, it's a, a servo setup number three, we know it's actually channel number five, all right? So at center stick, it reads, a, 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 I'm sorry, a channel number four, I apologize. Um, it's a zero percent. So all the way up, it reads 100. All the way down, it reads 100, negative 100. So that's good. I uh, just leave that one alone. The next will be pitch, which uh, is actually, uh, even though it says servo number four, it's actually channel number three here on the spirit. And so let's see. So high, uh, high stick is 100. Uh, low stick is negative uh, 100. And remember somewhere in the, in the center, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's uh, reading a zero. So that channel is calibrated. So let's go to the next channel, which will be number, f uh, or servo setup number five, which is yaw, which is actually channel number two. Again, it's, 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 it's servo setup five here, but here in the computer, it's a uh, channel uh, uh, two. So it's centering great at 0%. So, so we don't need to change the sub trim at all. Now, when we turn to the right, it's reading 100%, so that's great. When it turn to the left, uh, negative 100%, so that's perfect. So nothing to calibrate here. And now this is the, the big one. I've, I've set up many, many uh, spirit units uh, with uh, uh, jetty radios in the past. So this is the one that, that requires uh, a kind of a, a weird uh, calibration. As you can see, remember we set up uh, uh, earlier uh, so the center position in this uh, uh, switch was 0%. It was a positive 100 on the high position and negative 100 in the low position. But guess what? Here in the radio, uh, when you look at the computer up here, a high stick is reading only 87. Uh, low stick, a uh, middle stick is reading 0, so that's fine. There's nothing to do there. But low stick uh, or low switch is reading negative 87, where it should be reading actually negative 100. So we actually need to change that, all right? So let's go on the, um, uh, on the max positive here on the radio. We are going to have to uh, change that, I believe, to about 115. And let's see if that's right. So we are, oops. Um, so 100, uh, and we'll, we're watching the computer here as we go up. And, and uh, 15 should actually, uh, 115 should actually do it. And it did it, all right? And now we're going to uh, go to um, uh, the low switch position here in the radio. And we are going to change, we need to change the maximum collective. So it reads, uh, instead of 87%, it'll reach, uh, it'll rerun 100, negative 100%. And it's generally been 100, negative 114. So let's see if that's the case. So we're going to, uh, oops, go up the number and see, 110, 111, 112, 113. 114 that did it and this actually this has been consistent with all the spirit units i've ever um set up so uh as a sub trim at zero percent stays the same but the max positive 115 and the max negative 100 and uh, negative 114 and that's been very very consistent and so we leave that alone and let's go under the banks uh for bank uh, uh zero um uh, see, it's reading, uh, uh, I'm sorry, low stick, uh, bank uh, bank zero, bank one, and bank two. There's really not nothing to do there, so you just, just leave that one alone. And we're actually done uh, calibrating uh, this unit. Uh, that That's all there is. Now that we calibrated all the channels, this might be a good time to bring the gyro gains to more sensible uh, gains. So let's go uh, settings. For that uh, low uh, stick, remember we have one, two, and three. For the low uh, uh, gain, I would change that negative 100 to maybe around, uh, say, positive uh, 90%, okay? This is just a best guess value. The, 
center one that will be um, the middle ground let's change that to uh, maybe 80 85 or so all right this is just a, a best guess all right and then for the top one uh, let's bring that baby down to uh, maybe 80 percent and this again these are just starting values you will have to change those values uh, as you're flying